Yo, what's up? Jonathan Belcher here. Just doing this video right now. I'm actually in a hotel at a Hilton Inn uh, hotel right now. And just got some coffee, got some rose coffee. So I woke up with a, an epiphany in mind just to discuss some things to share with you about, you know, the big things that are coming, uh, the solutions for the future, my vision for the future. Uh, and stuff like that. So pay close attention. If you're a person who want to earn a lot of passive income, uh, be able to log into your email every single day and see new commissions being poured into your bank account. If you're a person who wants to be able to earn money on the go and be able to eventually quit your job, if that's something you want to do, then pay close attention to everything I share with you in this video because everything I share with you in this video uh, can help you moving forward in life, right? Even if you don't decide to lock arms with me, even if you don't decide to join in uh, our movement uh, this information I still want to share with you I hope can be valuable so you know a little bit about me uh, my my mom is Jamaican right and my dad is American so I'm half Jamaican half American uh, and and those differences it's kind of like I feel like I got the best of both worlds because although I have like the Caribbean you know way of teaching I was raised the Caribbean way for the most part you know have the manners you know uh we learn a lot about home remedies health remedies and stuff like that when you're caribbean uh also usually coming from the caribbean side usually more so than i, I find that caribbeans usually kind of like they worship nine to five jobs you know what i'm saying because you know you got to think of it, it kind of makes sense too most people coming from an island or like a third world country or something like that most times they, they don't have the education that we have here in America, right? It doesn't go to the highest level it can possibly go. Uh, and they don't have the opportunity, you know? So when my mom came here at a very young age, she came here and she ain't even uh, graduate from high school, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, to see how far she's came now today, it's a big transformation from where she's came come from, you know? She wasn't even born in America. And then also, you know, you go to the other side of my family, my dad's side of the family, and it's Americanized, you know, it's more, it's American. So, uh, you know, it, it's more about um, opportunity, more about investment, more open to business ideas, you know, um, probably a little crazier in a lot of ways, you know what I mean? My dad's side of the family, um, but they're funny, right? They're awesome. Both sides, both sides have great benefits to share with me, you know what I mean? Or, or shared great benefits and shared great teachings with me, you know, growing up, you know, I was raised and blessed by some great parents. Uh, so I think like Because I have the mindset of yeah, you know cool working on a five job cool make some money in your pocket But I think the mindset of being able to invest earn multiple earn multiple streams of income and The mindset of you know as we move on in society more, you know with technology technology is getting more and more sophisticated more and more advanced and what it's been about for me, I've been realizing, like when you realize and look at trends, right? When you, when you look at trends in life, uh, you know, you think back to the 90s and 80s and stuff, maybe people were selling drugs to make money to get by, you know, <laughs> people were doing a lot of offline things because there was no internet, there was no computer, you know, there was no social media, no Facebook at the time. So people were doing things like selling drugs and, and, and probably robbing banks and, and, and stuff like that. and. Um, if they weren't doing that, they probably were selling fruits on the street or had like a, some type of stand on the street selling some type of goods, uh, food or whatnot, right? But now, moving forward, now we have this, this, this internet thing going on, you know? And, and more so than ever before, people are finding ways to make money online or make money as their own boss. You know what I'm saying? So when I think of the transition and how things are changing and progressing, Somebody smart will look at this time we're in right now and realize that moving forward more than ever before, technology is going to be booming more than ever before. You know, you see a lot of 5G towers and stuff like that being built. Um, and, and some people speculate that those 5G towers negatively affect our bodies or our health. Um, I, I don't really think that so much, to be honest with you. I don't really think so much that the 5G towers are negatively affecting our health. I think the 5G towers are more so a sign of how much more sophisticated and more advanced the technology is that's coming or that's here or on its way, whatever, you know? But, you know, so me coming from the background that I come from, it was hard at first for me to try to find my purpose in life, if you will. You know, for many years, 
when I was younger, I was thinking like, you know, what am I here to do? What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to impact people? You know, what is the purpose I'm here on earth to serve? You know, um, sometimes when you're growing up and, you know, as you're getting older, even when you, you know, I first got into online business in my younger 20s, right? In, in my younger my younger 20s, so think about that. So even though I got started in my younger 20s, I didn't know everything. I didn't know, have ex ex extremely clear picture of what I wanted, you know, because I was still maturing. You're still getting out of, you know, certain bad habits and you're still kind of, your personality's changing a little bit as you're getting older. So understand that I want you to know it's okay to take some time to find what's the next big thing for you, you know, it, but don't take too long. That's the thing I'm gonna say, don't take too long. Uh, I was blessed to find opportunity in my younger 20s. I was blessed to be exposed to marketing information and branding information and, and sales closing information and how to build websites and how to build systems and stuff like that. I was blessed to be exposed to that stuff from a young age. You know, coming from the Jamaican side, nobody in my Jamaican side of my family had a clue about internet marketing, had a clue about computers. You know, up to this day, you know, my mom still called me, hey, I need help for this, you know, I need help for that. Can you show me how to do this on this website? I don't know how to go to this website and I gotta help her, you know, I gotta go over there and help her and show her what to do step by step to do what she needs to do because she doesn't understand technology. But, you know, when, when you look at society and everything going on right now, you know, we just had the pandemic coronavirus, but um, people aren't thinking about how this is gonna economically how this is going to negatively affect us economically. People aren't thinking about that. How this pandemic is going to negatively affect us moving forward. Um, right now you got over, I think it's over 10 million people filed for unemployment. It's the highest level rate it's ever been ever before, the unemployment rate right now. Um, this coronavirus thing isn't quite cleared up yet. The, you know, people are still social distancing. People are still wearing masks. A lot of businesses haven't opened up yet. Um, so it would be smart to realize that some type of crash is coming soon, an economic crash that's gonna be worse than what we're seeing now. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just the way things have been going. You know what I'm saying? America is really a, a country of crediting and a country of being in debt to look good, if you will. You know what I'm saying? We don't really create or invent anything. We kind of import all of our goods. We import all of our food. And, and because of us relying on other countries and stuff and being in such debt you know when you continue to print money you print money you print money the value of the dollar drops you know and the after effects of this unemployment being filed and people not having money people are gonna take a big hit you know what I'm saying but you know so those are the problems that we have today going on you know a lot of people getting laid off left and right I don't know if you know anybody in your family or any close people who have gotten laid off. I know a lot of people who've gotten laid off or fired from their job and, you know, even great jobs they've had. So what's the solution moving forward? And that's what I've been working on. I've been working on the solution, you know, the solution for people going broke, you know, the solution for people having to rely on living paycheck to paycheck, the solution. I've been working on the solution for people who are tired of being told what they're worth, you know, and uh, hold on one second, let me just let's get a sip of coffee. And some good uh, light roast coffee they got here at the hotel. They serve breakfast from 6 to 10. I came down a little late, so I wasn't able to even get breakfast. <laughs> I came down, it was like 10.05. I was pissed off, I'm like, damn, so I got some coffee. Right, so... So moving forward, you know, I want to create the solution for even teenagers coming out of high school who may not know what to do next or college students coming out of college who may have gotten a degree and they still can't find a job, don't know what to do next to make ends meet. You know, I'm working on the solution for that and it's almost done. It's almost, almost done to be honest with you. The solution, I've been working on it behind the scenes for the past two years. And just to give you a little hint, it's going to have to do with video marketing. It is going to have to do with something having to do with video marketing. And you say, why? You say, John, why are you gonna create something to help people earn passive income having to do with video marketing? Well, the reason is, is because personal experience. You know, I don't believe in teaching people something that I haven't mastered yet or something that I haven't understood yet, you know? And the main thing, the main strategy that allowed me to quit my job, the main strategy that allowed me to earn my first six figures online, the main strategy 
that allowed me to be in a position where people around me wanted to listen to me and wanted to, you know, basically be a part of what I got going on. The main thing that created all of that, when I think about this whole journey, this whole seven, eight year journey I've been on or whatever you want to call it, the main thing that has led to this point is videos. You know, that's, you know, has to do with a large part of my strategy is videos. So the power of videos, and up to this day, you're talking about videos um, that I've done over seven, five years ago that I'm still able to earn inco income on today. Um, so that's why it's gonna have to do with that. But it's also gonna have to do with spiritual enlightenment and personal development as well. It's gonna have to do with that stuff too because you see, the thing about life is, I don't know, some of you know my story, you know, I, I experienced some type of heartbreak, um, went through a bad relationship uh, before, this was like about two and a half, three years, no, this was about, I'll say about like four years ago, and then for like two years, I was kind of trying to find myself, not find myself, but basically try to create new income streams for myself after those, you know, that depressing time. And it was because, you know, the company I was with went out of business. Um, so everything that I learned, I needed to find a way to create something from that. Um, you know, bad relationships, relationships going wrong and stuff like that. So all of that is what caused me to kind of get clear again on what I truly wanted out of life and how I truly wanted to help people out of life. So I'm saying all this to say that it's okay if on your journey, if things get a little unclear as long as you don't give up you know as long as you don't give up as long as you stay focused on the prize as long as you stay focused on your vision you can create something again even if you fall down eight times you just gotta have the ability to get up nine times even if you fall down 12 times you gotta have the ability to get up 13 times if you fall down 20 times you gotta have the ability to get up 21 times that's how life works you know and every time you feel you may feel like life knocks you down you have to have the strength to get back up again. And as long as you have the strength to get back up again, we can always create greatness, whether or not the economy it collapse, whether or not governments try to become dictators, whether or not pandemics come, you know, uh, empires rise and fall. As long as we're spiritually grounded and, you know, we understand and we know ourselves and we have connection to, you know, we have connection to the universe and to nature and we have connection to the things going on around us and we can feed off of that energy. As long as we can continue to do that, we can always create greatness as an army together. We can always do that. But the thing is, see, when you're making money and you're making a lot of money, but you don't have no identity of who you are, you have no type of spiritual enlightenment, you have no type of, you know, you don't have a strong mindset, but you're making all this money. What happens is when shit hits the fan, because things always do, right, in business, you know, nothing is, is permanent when you really think about it, not even life itself, you know, it, nothing is permanent, but... When shit hits the fan, when you're making money, because this happened to me, right? I, I'm talking from personal experience. When things hit the fan and you're making money and that's all you're focused on is making money, making money, making money, when you fall flat on your fucking face, you're gonna feel so bad and you're gonna be in such a depression that you're gonna wish that you got personally developed. You're gonna wish that you got some type of spiritual understanding about who you are and what you wanna do next and understanding of how to visualize and create what you want. You're gonna wish that all of the things that you thought didn't matter having to do with money, you're gonna to start to focus on all of that stuff when money is no longer there. Because that's how society works. Usually when there's like a great depression or like a crazy recession going on, think, think about it. People tend to find ways to come together. People tend to find ways to start to care again. People tend to find ways to start to love each other again. But why does it have to take a pandemic? Why does it have to take an economic crash? Why does it have to take a depression for people have to, to care again and to love one another again? You ever thought about that? Why does it take all of that? Why does it take negative stuff to happen for people to start to learn new skill sets, for people to start to be open to business opportunities, for people to start to be open to the fact that their dreams are possible? Think about it. After something really, really tragic and bad happens in society, there's always a large group of people finally focused on making things right. You know what I mean? And it's unfortunate, so it becomes a cycle of good things, bad things, good things, bad things. But, you know, how can we make the, the, the good things, the, the, the uphill swing of good things flow into our life more frequently? How can we do that? And, and that's what we're talking about here right now. You know what I'm saying? And I, I believe that video is a very powerful way to 
earn passive income, but also to get your message heard, but also in the same breath, also to brand yourself. Also, it's a very powerful way to connect with a network of people. Because I've learned from a very young age, you know what I'm saying? What I learned from a very young age is, uh, it's a beautiful day out. It's a beautiful day out. I learned at a very young age that, you know, most people look for and find work. Rich people look for and find networks. Most people look for and find work. Rich people look for and find networks. So think about your favorite music artists. They're rich because they have a network of buyers. You know, think about your favorite actor or actress. You know, they're rich because they have a network of viewers, people who watch their stuff. Think about your favorite uh, anything. You know, um, anybody rich, when you think about it, they have a network or a customer base. And the only way you can truly create a customer base is by providing some type of value to people. And remind you, remind you, value comes in all different shapes, sizes, and forms. Entertainment can be a form of value. Entertainment can be a form of value. Education is a form of value. Mentorship is a form of value. Consultation is a form of value. Uh, being a gym, a trainer at a gym is a form of value. You're giving value to people. You know, teaching people something that has to do with a specific area in life is a form of value. You know, uh, giving people words of empowerment, encouraging, encouragement and wisdom is a form of value. You know, uh, speaking to people about how you were able to overcome relationship problems maybe that you've had in the past. You know, speaking to single mothers who can relate to you in life on how you were able to overcome shortcomings and overcome failures as a single mother that's valuable to other single mothers. So do you get what I'm trying to get at here? There's really no limit to what you can create as long as you understand that there's value you have that you can share with people. And when you share that value with people, people start to want to pay you, you know? And video marketing is one of the most powerful ways for you to share some type of value. Doing tutorial videos, I know makeup artists out there who are doing their things, showing how they put on their makeup, showing how they put on their hair, how they do things their self. I know plenty of women entrepreneurs killing it using YouTube videos, you know? But the unfortunate thing is, although many people are using YouTube videos, they don't quite know how to structure their stuff in a way where they can get paid for life. And when I say get paid, I'm not just talking about paid just from the ads on YouTube, right? Like that's not enough. You no, know, just the, from the ad clicks on YouTube is not enough because honestly, you get like less than a penny per stream on YouTube. How can you survive with less than a penny on the dollar for each stream? You can't survive with that. You know what I mean? So most people who make videos, they make the mistake of not structuring a business in a way where they can earn passive income every single month. So that's what I want to change. That's one of the main solutions that I'm, I've been working on and it's almost done. I mean, you could get early access now. You know what I'm saying? You could get early access now only if you can find the secret link. Only if you can find the secret link. <laughs> only if you can find the secret link, you know what I mean? Then you can get early access to this crazy system. I'm telling you, it's gonna be the best thing you've ever seen in your life. And it's gonna change millions of people's lives. It's gonna change millions of people's lives. It's a promise because I've been taking my time with it. I've been working slowly but surely, but not even that. It's just the lead up to this point of where we're at. Everything in life happens for a reason. Everything in life happens for a reason. And you know, the lead up to this point, you know, I've created training courses for MCA members, uh, training courses for Herbalife members. Um, and that's been very successful. I've worked with many people in both companies. And I'm still working with people in those companies. Um, but now I want to create something bigger. My vision is bigger than it's ever been ever before. Something for everybody, really. Something that anybody can do. Whether, you know, you're a kid who's 18 years old at a high school, just about to get out of high school and you're trying to figure it out. Or you're 50 years old and you have a little, you know, computer knowledge and you want to start to build some type of following or network for yourself. I'm creating that solution right now. Um, so I'm excited, you know, I'm excited, but I'm also concerned, you know, I'm also concerned about the future. I'm concerned about the economy most importantly because I know the domino effect of the economy. You know, the economy taking a hit is gonna cause probably crime rate to increase, probably gonna cause, you know, just pandemonium in the streets, um, you know, loss of food, loss of housing, loss of shelter. Um, unfortunately, these things are, are soon to come, you know, um, the economic crash is soon to come. So 
Um, I'm looking for people who want to be a part of something that's forever, something that's eternal, you know, something that can impact people in a positive way, other people, and impact you in a positive way. That's the most important part. Um, if you don't find my stuff to be valuable, I apologize, you know? Maybe I'm not the one to work with. Maybe I'm not the one to lock arms with. If you do find my stuff to be valuable and, and we have a vision that's in line and similar vision, hit me up, you know? Uh, you can check out the links in the description below in this video. Workwithjohnbelcher.com. Think about everything I've been saying in this video. Uh, workwithjohnbelcher.com. You can check out my blog there. Also, my, my email is in the description below. Um, but I'm, I'm about to go soon. I'm about to head out soon. Get my day started and stuff. Probably work on uh, behind the scenes, the websites, and, and some, some sales funnel stuff I got to get done that I've been working on behind the scenes. It's, it's taking me a little time. But it won't take too much longer. It won't take too much longer. It's almost here. It's really, really almost here. It's almost a live, a breathing entity that uh, hopefully en anybody can prosper from this and live abundantly. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know for a fact, I'm 100% sure, I'm 100% sure that there's at least, at least a thousand people right now, at least a thousand people right now who need this who need this right now, you know, who need something where they can just build, you know, and it, it's not dependent on how many hours you work. It's not dependent on, you know, if your boss wants to promote you to the high, to the next promotion. It's not dependent on, you know, you having to make a commute out to the city or commute two hours a day, or it's not dependent on you having to stand on your feet all day to get paid a little bit of money. You know, it's not dependent on a social security, you know, so, when you look at social security and 401ks, we really don't know the future of that. It's not really as secure as we thought it was. You know what I'm saying? It's not really, um, you know, we can see in the healthcare field what's going on right now. So, you know, when you, you know, it's just smart to look at the future, have a vision, be able to foresee what may happen in the future, and then find ways to prepare for that. So, um, you know, find ways to prepare for that. That's the smartest thing you could do, but you know, you, you got to be focused. You got to be spiritually grounded. You got to know yourself. And that's the most important thing. No matter when you're, no matter what type of storm you're going through, if you're spiritually grounded, you know yourself, you know exactly why you're doing what you're doing, you will always figure it out. You will always figure it out. And that's the beauty about life. You will always figure it out, you know, but you got to be thinking right. You got to be seeing things in the right way. You got to have the right perspective. That's why personal development and spiritual development is so, so important because Without that, you can't make the next best decision. You know what I'm saying? You can't execute powerfully in life. You know, you can't execute without spiritual and personal development. How do you, when things get rough, how do you know how to bounce back? You know, when things get a little overwhelming, how do you create that clarity you need again? How do you create that vision you need again to get you motivated again to, to start moving again? The only way you, you do that is by being spiritually and personally developed. That's the only way to do it. Working more on yourself then you do your business. Most people just want to work on the business, work on the business, work on the business, work on the business, but they're not realizing that they're the energy. You're the energy. If you don't work on you, if you're not in the best shape, your business can't be in the best shape. If you're not in the best shape as you, as a person, as the CEO, as the queen, as the king of your dynasty, your business can't be in the best shape. It's impossible. You know what I'm saying? So that's why um, we're creating something that's going to, uh, impact millions of lives millions of lives and if you want to hit me up about that and get more information you can hit me up but it's still early right now it's still early it's not quite ready yet but you can hit me up on Facebook my Facebook link is in the, is in the description below so that's what's coming in the future um, so the time to prepare is now you know the time to prepare is now the time to be in position is now you know uh, because things are gonna get a lot spookier, you know what I'm saying? And in certain ways, in certain ways, a lot of great opportunities are gonna open up, but in a lot of ways, um, you know, things are gonna get rocky, you know? So it would be smart to prepare for that. It would be smart to put yourself in position to grow spiritually, go, grow financially, grow mentally, so that when these times come, you're a little more prepared and ready, you know, in, in all different ways, in different types of ways. So I appreciate those of you who have been subscribing to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that. Share this video with five friends or family who you may know who, who may need to watch this video. And also, drop a comment below. Drop a comment below letting me know your name, where you're from, uh, what you think is coming in the future, maybe your vision. I would really appreciate your feedback. 
uh, and also check out workwithjohnbelcher.com. That's my blog. You get all the information you need, spiritual enlightenment, personal development, business knowledge, all that good shit. See you later. Peace.